Oh, -ho! <coughs> well, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, we've got a QH40A precision crystal heater from Kuhn. Um, I've used one of these before in a transverter, and it worked very well. So I'm going to try fitting one to uh, my old FT847, which uh, drifts according to temperature. It drifts very predictably according to temperature, which is quite useful. I set the shack to 20 degrees Celsius, then it's pretty much on frequency. But any variation in temperature either side of that and uh, frequency has to be adjusted. So the idea being that this heater should, in theory, keep the crystal at a steady 40 degrees Celsius. And once adjusted, once the uh, local oscillator adjusted, then hopefully it should stay roughly 40 degrees and then not move so much piece of heat shrink tubing that comes with the heater to uh, fix it to a crystal. Not quite sure if that will work because the crystal in the 847s is much smaller. We'll see. Right, there's some uh, fine wires attached as per the instructions. Apparently it says to use the finest wire you can so that it doesn't conduct heat away and keep the leads short. Unfortunately I think the uh, supply side on the 847 means that the positive wire at least will have to be longer than ideal but anyway we'll try it. There's a couple of things about uh, the 847 and this heater. First of all there's the crystal upon which the heater should sit and you can see the heater is uh, quite a lot larger than I hope you can see this doesn't focus around. The heater is quite a lot larger than that particular crystal. Uh, also, there's uh, getting power to it now. Grounding it, I could go to one of these cans or to any of these capacitors. Grounding simple. There is actually a, a, an 8 volt line just here. It looks like it's been modified. Um, not by me, I've had this from you, so it's, it looks like that's been points being modified for the UK version, maybe. Now, there is a 7.9 volt. Um, source there which might be enough to power it. My um, only worry is that there might not be enough current to do the job or that it might affect the circuitry around it. And the mod that I've seen online they came across and they took uh, 8 volts from here um, where the 8 volt regulator goes to this uh, capacitor so I'll probably do that but as you can see it means running a piece of wire across half the length of the board and that's not ideal terms of conducting heat away but that's what's been done before so we'll try that see how it goes okay so there's the uh, heater in position um, it's just sitting there it's not actually been fixed properly I just positioned it put the heat shrink over it and it does actually stay in position so what I have to do that now is route these two wires make sure they're not uh, going to short anything and um, hopefully if all goes well we should start getting some heat into that crystal after that I can consider things like insulating it or um, kind of structurally how to make it uh, secure See, I'll see about that once I've sold it in position so far so good okay it's all in position and soldered not quite as beautiful as I'd hoped in that this wire trails across the the 8 volt regulator point. I think I might be able to take the voltage from this resistor here. Um, it does measure 8 volts very close, could keep the wire very short, but for now I'll just like to test it taking, um, taking current from a proven place. I'll put the link for the website I got this from late at the bottom of the page. So for now I'm going to run it from there. The earth um, sorry, the, the negative feed goes to this capacitor here and uh, the positive is coming from the 8 volt regulator source over there. So, hopefully, when I power this up, A, it will work, but B, it should be off frequency. Why should it be off frequency? I thought you wanted it on frequency, I hear you think. Well, hopefully it will be off frequency because the uh, heater will take that... Um, uh, crystal up to 40 degrees in which case 
it should um, knock the uh, calibration off by quite a lot but hopefully by once it is heated up that should stay the same so I can then recalibrate the radio and have uh, an accuracy even greater than before it was accurate if I kept the shack at 20 degrees Celsius but that's not always possible so fingers crossed again okay powered up and whew, it's working always a nerve-wracking moment um, so the way I've tuned the radio if it was calibrated correctly that uh, tone there which is coming from GB3 BUX on 4 meters would be at 1000 Hertz precisely and at the moment it's at 934 Hertz and that's very good because um, prior to powering it up uh, it was almost exactly spot on so the heater is presumably warm in the crystal which has presumably hopefully changed the uh, calibration now haven't finished fixing it in it's only loosely held so this part will be a bit tricky in that it's hopefully uh, is heating the crystal so there should be some change I'll give it an hour or so then recalibrate the radio then secure the crystal heater as securely as I can and then go around again until eventually hopefully I can get uh, something near um, stability at whatever temperature this shack happens to be today the shack is a lowly 16 degrees I'll give the heater a chance and see what it can do and then um, come back to it okay right my initial uh, fixing techniques gonna be to try and use uh, some hot air at uh, about 150 Celsius and uh, you can see it does shrink it it is shrinking it just adjust it difficult to film and uh, adjust but the, the shrink tubing is is adjusting to the crystal a little bit more heat hopefully that will pull it tighter onto the crystal itself right so it was all but impossible to film and do so that's now quite secure as secure as the crystal anyway um, and hopefully that will keep the heater flat against the crystal itself it's unfortunate that's designed for larger um, crystals than they're used in the FT847. I have read that actually the adjustment point, which is a trimmer capacitor, is also a source of uh, drift as it warms up. So, as I said, there's only so much you can do with this. This isn't satisfactory. My next idea is to uh, lock it to a GPS using one of uh, Han Summers's. Uh, um, hot rock I think he calls them uh, oscillators well, that's a bit drastic for a radio this old I know it's not old some people keep telling me it's not old but it's old for digital communications we'll try this first oh, by the way this was uh, 14 euros this heater so not overly expensive and it arrived within two days from Germany so I was quite impressed by that right uh, given it a few minutes it felt warm actually to the touch and uh, when I touched the crystal my body temperature didn't seem to adjust it very much so I put the, the lid back on and I've adjusted the uh, uh, the local oscillator or the master oscillator anyway so that the readout on um, 4 meters is now 1001.31 Hertz which is 1.31 Hertz above ideal uh, there's no way I can turn that little trimmer any more finely than that so I'm gonna leave this for an hour now with the case on albeit upside down and just see whether that moves at all or by how much it moves over the next hour you can see according to that clock it's 12 56 32 seconds on the 16th of February and we are at 1001.31 Hertz be nice if it stayed within I don't know 10 Hertz either way sorry five plus or minus five Hertz would be nice and then the final test after that would be to go up to two meters and look at GB 3 VHF 
because again the uh, low cost has been multiplied several times more to make 144 megahertz <coughs> well, actually doubled on what this is so therefore any error will be doubled so I can get it to be stable on uh, 2 meters I'm very happy of course I need the room temperature to change really I suppose I could open all the windows and let some heat out actually let some heat in in fact I'll do that, I'll open a window 16 degrees in here at the moment 57% humidity right well it's been about 25 minutes or so and uh, I did notice that there was a rise in uh, the beacon uh, frequency of an apparent 4 hertz, which means that uh, the oscillator and the radio or some other component has uh, altered due to heat and uh, take, pulled the oscillator down but it seems to have been at 1004 hertz for uh, the past 15 minutes uh, not taking into account fluctuations due to uh, Doppler etc the beacons quite uh, 60 miles away or whatever so 1004 hertz is where we're at now so I can readjust that later to try to get it to 1000 hertz and uh, but I'll just give that another half an hour and see whether it's still at 1004 Hertz half an hour from now did reduce the temperature of the room uh, oh, sorry I tried to reduce the temperature of the room open the windows but unfortunately I think indoors is the same temperature as outdoors because we're still at 16 degrees C so I've left that the same best not to change too many things anyway at once 16 degrees Celsius in the room and we are on 1004 Hertz at the moment more time has passed Put the radio the correct way up which means that obviously the heat is now hanging off the crystal itself so let's hope it's uh, firmly secured and um, whether you can see that or not but we've got 104 hertz so it stayed pretty much at 104 um, for the past 35 40 minutes so I going to declare the Kuhn Precision QH40A crystal heater a success. I think uh, the variations uh, beyond heating the crystal are likely to be because there's a crystal for the SSB generator uh, circuitry so that too will change um, so it's likely that, that's about as accurate as I'm going to be able to get it without fitting uh, a GPS locking system uh, and this is always presuming that GB3BUX is as accurate as I hope it is <coughs> you can see that sometimes it's saying 1006 but that's uh, due to Doppler effects of the signal strength varying aircraft scatter you name it there's all sorts going on out there it, uh, it tends to settle back to 104 when you get a clear signal 1004 other. there we go there we go 1004 Hertz so I'm 4 Hertz low I could possibly adjust that to get it spot on but I'm happy enough with that for now that does mean hopefully that it will stay there hmm thanks for watching and uh, who knows next time we might be going for something even more accurate funny thing being in the 21st century isn't it you get to worry about three or four hertz bye